something very unique, very special. And one of the best things that you can possibly do for someone that's passed is to do mitzvot, do good deeds that God decreed in their name. Meaning, do what God said, whether it's learning Torah or uh, doing the things that He told us in their name. Now, when you do it in somebody's name, the benefit here is that the person that's doing it gets the credit, obviously, gets the mitzvah upstairs. But the person that you're doing it in the name also gets it. So it's just like, it's not like something like in, in the material world. If, let's say, for example, we have $100,000, and I say, okay, you know what? We should split it amongst the group of five. So if we split it amongst the group of five, each person is going to get 20000 and And pretty much the guy that actually had the original 100000 is losing 80000 really. So yeah, maybe he's happy for about a half a second that everybody has a smile on it, but about a half a second later, he's very upset because he just lost $80,000. With a spiritual thing, it's like fire. If you ever notice that if you take one candle that's on, that has fire on it, and you take another candle that doesn't have fire on it, and you exchange, and you put the two together, then both of them have fire, but neither one of them, the one that had fire stays exactly the same. He doesn't lose fire. So spirituality can only grow. It cannot shrink. And that's one of the beautiful things about mitzvot and the decrees and the amazing things that a God gave us is that if we involve other people to do what God said, we benefit even more than us doing it by ourselves. Because number one, we're still doing it. And number two, we're getting the credit for encouraging somebody else to do it. So now, instead of you having one fire, you have two fires, or ten fires, or twenty fires. So making one other person religious, instead of you just doing mitzvot, even if you're the biggest tzaddik in the world, which tzaddik means righteous. Even if you're the most righteous person in the world, and you do everything that God said, and your entire day is consumed with Torah, and mitzvot, and doing everything that God said, your whole day, from morning to night, everything you're doing is perfect. But you're by yourself, and then there's another person that... Maybe he doesn't necessarily do as much as you, but he does a lot. But he encourages 500 other people to do mitzvot. He's going to have a lot more credit than you. Why? Because him, it's him times 500. And those 500 are going to encourage other people. It's another 500, another 500. It could be a whole nation. He's making a chain. So he's making a chain. He's making a huge event that's changing.